my friends, who I met at the Future School Leader Seminar named Marco Koskinen to speak at Summerhill Boarding School in Leiston, England, one of the only democratic schools in the world. Now, I have accepted this offer, and I personally invite you to join me in Summerhill, England. I will be talking about how schools can give the opportunities to students to become monies. Now, Summer Hill School is a school that has the philosophy that the school should be made to fit the child, not the other way around. How does it do this? Well, there are two big examples of this. Number one is that meetings are not just excluded to teachers. Meetings are inclusive to students and pupils as well. This has a huge impact because it allows students to make change whenever they need it. But you might say, doesn't that mean that teachers would have more votes than students since they have more authority? No, because here at Summerhill, teachers do not have more responsibility or more vote than students. That means that teachers and students have equal rights and equal votes, meaning that students can push for change when they want to or if they don't like something in the school. That means that the school can adapt to rapid changes and needs for students. This is just one example of how democracy is great for Summerhill and probably all other schools in the world as well. Another example of how Summerhill's democracy is working out and how it works is you know, that students can choose their own path through the educational system. Students can, not only can students pick their own classes and drop classes if they want to, that means that every single lesson is optional. So you can choose not to take the course on some days and you can choose to take it on others. Now, this means that not only can you change your topic, but you can also change your schedule. And combined with the student meetings, this has a huge impact on pupils in the Summerhill boarding school compared to other boarding schools. Summerhill boarding school's democracy works out extremely well because it has created many great artists, actors, writers, and many more. How do they do this? By work of democracy. And so, I know that democracy has worked out for me because I was given completely free choice by my father to fall in love with the range of subjects. And that's exactly what Summerhill is doing to its students. It's giving its students this wide variety of subjects even wider than my father had available at the time. So, this allows students to fall in love with subjects they previously thought they would be uninterested in and allows students to take a taste of the subjects that look nice but they want to actually try out, test it. And so, Summerhill Boarding School is one of the best schools in the world. And I think that other schools should at least try to have the same kind of scheme as they do. Now I know that many other schools have try, uh, tried and failed horribly at the democratic uh, education thing. However, uh, we should all follow the example of Summerhill boarding school because that is the optimal school for everyone. And while the its education system is the optimal education system for every pupil. It allows students to participate and it allows students to change their own courses. What could be better? Tell me. Now critics might say this democracy thing is crap. Now we should all have restricted curriculum in order for our classrooms to be more orderly. However, democracy almost always works out, and it definitely worked out here. I uh, hope to see you guys on Sunday. Please join me at least in England. Drive to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.